The AEDC provides an impetus for early learning centres and schools to connect strategically around a common understanding of the skills and capacities that support children as they transition to school. The AEDC provided a shared outcome measure for Ashdale Early Learning Centre and Ashdale Primary School and set them about working together to identify what works best to support the holistic development of children in the community. The community here is a pretty evolving community. It has been um, particularly over the last five or six years and so the YMCA as part of the Early Learning Centre process here is really looking to have a strong community connection um, with all schools and partners in the area to try and support children to have the best transition into their education um, and really that's what we're focused on at the moment. Just recently, the YMCA and Ashdale Primary School have connected again. We see this as an opportunity to support children right from zero, right the way through into, uh, into education. So with the partnership with the school, we're looking at being able to develop uh, mechanisms to support uh, measuring outcomes for our children and ensuring those outcomes are being able to be transitioned right the way through into the school environment as well. We've actually recently over the last four and a half years have set up um, some longitudinal data of all of our kids using on entry data, PAT testing data and NAPLAN data and actually connecting it all. When the Y actually can, uh, contacted me and said look we're actually looking into tracking some of our kids from zero to four and seeing how what our practices that affect affect the students that go to us um, and uh, go to the centre. Um, it seemed that we've got a bit of synergy there. If we can develop uh, this particular pilot to demonstrate how successful children's transition can be in childcare into education, then we'll be able to support that right across the whole community and hopefully uh, bring in the cluster schools in the area. And again, with the same focus that children have got, you know, the best outcome as they're transitioning into their education. The Child Australia Early Learning Centre at Lockridge acts as a hub with their six feeder schools to help children feel a sense of community and enable educators to share information about children to support their growth and development. The centre uses the results and the common language of the AEDC to connect with their feeder schools and plan for optimal school transitions. The earliest learning framework is for children aged birth to five during their time in our early learning centre but also through to their transition to school. So as a campus we are really committed to ensuring that transition is as supported as possible between both our site and the schools. Uh, so one of the um, initiatives that we worked on collaboratively with Lockridge Primary School was to develop a transition statement uh, which shared information that was important and contextual to our community from one site to the other. Having the transition information available to us at the start of the school year enables us to put things into place um, that we would normally have to wait a few weeks to access other services. So right from day one we can deliver the best possible service knowing what the child's position is in their family, any cultural influences, any social and emotional needs, uh, any possible behaviour problems that we might encounter, but it does give our staff the heads up and enables them to hit the ground running. We felt it was important to provide a close link between preschool activity and children starting school. Um, we found in the past that children were arriving at school and they weren't quite ready and it was bewildering to some of them. Callista Primary School uses the AEDC data to support their planning and improve transitions for children and families in the community. At Callista we've got a child and parent centre on site and the child and parent centre offers programs for children in the age of zero to eight years and the idea is that those programs will um, help families to better prepare themselves and their children for schooling when they get to school age. They use the AEDC data to um, not only work out where the vulnerabilities lie and, and plan their programs, but also to evaluate their programs to see how effective they've been in addressing the needs of our community. One of the things we do with the Child and Parent Centre is a transition to kindergarten. The transition program involves the, the children involved in, in some activities uh, that will prepare them and, and make them familiar with the kindergarten environment. But while that's running, the Child and Parent Centre run workshops for parents 
and the workshops are specifically designed around the needs of the family and how the family can best support their children to be ready for school when they start school. So an advantage of running a transition program is we get to see the children quite a lot before they start kindergarten and that enables us to identify uh, any, any particular needs they have. We can discuss those with parents and if we find that they need extra speech support or other types of support, we can provide an early intervention. To find out more on how you can use the AEDC to build partnerships and support children as they transition to school, visit the Western Australian Department of Education or AEDC website.